Are you struggling with low FPS and low visibility in the finals? Are you losing gunfights due to frame drops or lag spikes? I've been optimizing the finals for a year now, and I'm going to show you the best settings to use in the finals season 5, so you can unlock your competitive edge and improve your frames for the perfect balance between stunning visuals and smooth performance. Starting with the biggest one, video settings. In my previous video, I recommended setting everything to low with TAAU enabled since that would net you the maximum amount of frames. While this is true, it comes at the expense of fidelity, so here are my updated video settings for Season 5. Window mode, full screen so you have maximum refresh rate. Also make sure you have the maximum refresh rate selected in adapter properties under Windows Display Settings. Next, select your native resolution. For me, it's 1920x1080. V-Sync should always be off in most games, as it may result in input lag and slower rendered frames. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on plus boost for any modern card, on without boost for older cards. Resolution Scaling Method For NVIDIA, use DLSS if available, with DLAA as the best quality option. For AMD, there is FSR 2 with updates to FSR 3 coming soon. For older cards, use TAAU with 100 280 resolution scaling as permitted. Field of view should always be maxed out. For the finals, the maximum is 100. Motion blur should be disabled. Lens distortion, I prefer disabled as well, as both of these reduce clarity and add extra clutter. RTX should be set to static. I see no reason running this since it costs frames and does not improve visual fidelity. For details, we are using custom settings this time. View distance, high. Anti-aliasing, epic. Shadows, medium. Post-processing, high. Textures, high. Effects, medium. Mandatory. This improves low visibility and clarity in gunfights. Reflections, epic for clarity, minimal FPS impact. Foliage, medium. Best visibility setting with minimal FPS impact. Global elimination resolution, medium. Last two bits here, idle energy saving, inactive energy saving. Both should be disabled unless you regularly go AFK between matches. Before we finish with the video settings, let me show my NVIDIA settings quickly in case you want to optimize for max performance and quality. I also run 60% digital vibrance with 50% brightness, 50% contrast and standard plus 1.0 gamma. I would also recommend checking out Blurbusters to see if your monitor has any specific settings or features to help decrease screen ghosting. They also have a UFO tool so you can notice how the image changes under different frame rate settings. You should also Google your monitor make and model and factory menu, as quite a few monitors will have hidden settings you can use to reduce image blurring or ghosting at high speeds. For gameplay general settings, make sure your preferred region is not automatic, as this may decrease queue times at the expense of crisp hit registration. If you prefer shorter queues with more lag, go automatic. Crossplay should be on, ensures faster matchmaking and allows you to invite friends playing on a different platform. Auto Sprint, on with zero trigger delay. Momentum is a huge part of the finals, and unless you want dead slides and choppy movement, you need this on. If you need to keep a low profile, you can use crouch or the walk, or just strafe instead of moving forward to reduce your movement speed. Melee aim assist, off. If you're having trouble hitting quick melees, you can leave this on. But for me, it feels worse, and it might turn you unexpectedly, causing you to lose control. No bueno. Notification verbosity. All contracts. This is a nice quality of feature to have since you'll be able to see contract progress without having to manually track them all the time. For gameplay interface settings, always use the enemy team colors so you can easily identify third-party situations and recognize if you're fighting a different team. Most of everything else here is personal preference except crosshairs. Now myself, I use fully static crosshairs in any game. Because of this, I have in-world crosshair off center dot off and I use the static crosshair option. On circle, thickness 4 or 5, color green. Even with the visual recoil reduction, I still run Crosshair V2, which is a simple overlay and you can install it from the Microsoft Store. I've been running it for 3 seasons and I have not received any warning or suspension. They feel truer and cleaner compared to the finals crosshair, and if you don't approve, hey, at least it's less cheesy than people using the wrong aspect ratio so they can hit a light player. Now sync key. I recommend people running lower sense, high DPI. This takes advantage of your mouse sensor and utilizes your actual hardware instead of software. Mouse zoom sense multiplier, scoped zoom sense multiplier, I experimented a lot with these and 100% is ideal. Anything else and it starts feeling inconsistent. Key bindings are personal preference. The only suggestions from me are use sprint toggle and slide hold. 
These ensure you maintain momentum while jumping, zipping, and sliding so you can chain together movement more easily. Not using these results in dead slides, suddenly slowing down, and being unable to maintain momentum after landing. Also worth noting, you can downhill slide in the finals, so having slide hold ensures you have the ability of maximizing your slide distance should you choose to do so. I also recommend trying Raw Excel. It's a very simple piece of software that lets you set mouse acceleration, which I'm not a fan of. But since I am a wrist aimer, I love the rotate feature, which means you're rotating your mouse sensor. I recommend three degrees. This will help improve horizontal tracking and make sure you're steady while rotating your hand to the left or right. For audio settings, master slider is scaled based on individual sliders. So you should max out effects in voice, music and commentator or personal preference, and then drop master slider until volume is sufficient. You can also run night mode, which amplifies in-game sound, meaning you will need to lower master volume because of it. You can keep subtitles on so you can see different player callouts you may otherwise miss, but I prefer this off to reduce screen clutter. New with Season 5, we also have the option to customize our music playlist, meaning you can have music from any seasons you pick. Really cool. And we made it to the end. Big thank you if you made it this far. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel, it helps a lot. Also let me know in the comments if there's anything else to finals you would like for me to cover. I post weekly guides and tutorials, and also provide coaching free of charge for the finals, Overwatch, and Marvel Rivals. I've been playing games for 30 years and can still perform great at 36, but I am passionate about helping others improve and I want to celebrate your success, not just mine. Join the Discord for details, Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you guys in the finals.